Let's get ready to forage! Let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. So, we showed a little bit of me foraging. Um, it's fall, it's a great time for me to make a little extra money for my family and for the, the, the homestead. Now I have a full-time job, I'm a school teacher. That of course keeps me pretty busy. Um, but I also try to make a little extra money. As a teacher, my paycheck isn't giant um, and I don't get paid in the summer. So I try to find ways to supplement, to supplement my income. One of those is YouTube. I make a little extra money on YouTube. Not much, but a little bit. Um, I also have several books I've self-published on um, Amazon. And I make a little bit of money that way. Not much, just a little bit. Um, and it's fun. So a newer way that I've been making extra income on our homestead is by leaving the homestead and foraging rare and weird fruits, basically. Um, now, how, how am I doing this? First of all, you have to find a buyer. Um, and if you live in a medium to larger city, you can probably find a buyer. Um, and even if you live in a small town, um, you may be able to find folks that are willing to... Um, buy your rare food. Um, foraging, there's urban foraging, there's foraging in the country. Um, I do both. So these are the two fruits that I've made extra money on this year. I've made about $400 so far foraging food. And that's only been, you know, about a week and a half of work. So that's pretty awesome. Um, now first you have to find a buyer. Where are you gonna find a buyer? Um, Think about local restaurants that may be, you know, a little upscale. Um, I've sold food to restaurants before. Um, also think about your local community. Um, local people may buy your um, fruit as well. Um, sorry, our corgi and our pig are roughhousing over there a little bit. Um, so I sell pawpaws which if you don't know about pawpaws, here's a beautiful pawpaw right here. Um, it is then actually 100% ripe. Most of the pawpaws I've already harvested with my mother-in-law. Um, and I just picked this one because I needed to show you what a pawpaw looks like. This one is not quite ripe. Um, pawpaws are America's largest native fruit. I made lots of videos on pawpaws. So you can check out our pawpaw videos. Um, these are a rare fruit in America, even though they're a native tree. A lot of people don't know about them. Their habitat's been lost. But I sell pawpaws to several places. One, I sell pawpaws to local people in my local community, in my county, that have never tasted a pawpaw before. They taste like a mango slash banana is what people compare them to. But I think they have a distinctive pawpaw taste as well that you... You just can't describe it. Um, lots of relatives of this plant live in uh, South America, Central America, so tropical areas. Um, but this is our largest native fruit people. Um, so I sell these to local folks to try them. Um, I sell them to a restaurant and, and I, they make a sauce out of it, which is kind of cool. And then I have a friend that owns a cider business and he's making pawpaw cider, so that's pretty awesome. This is my second year working with him, and I think I sold about 75 pounds to him. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the price, because you know, 
people don't need to know that. Uh, but I made a decent amount of money, which is great. So pawpaws are one way you can make money because there aren't a lot of pawpaws out there, or at least people don't know where to find them. Um, so again, if you live in a medium to larger city, you probably have places that want to buy forage food, rare food, rare fruits, things that are hard to access. Cider businesses, I guess cideries are great places to look into. Breweries in Asheville, there's lots of small breweries, so that may be an area for foraging. This next fruit, up, oh, just dropped it. This is Kusa Dogwood, Kusa Dogwood. Kusa dogwood. Um, this is a Japanese dogwood or a a Korean dogwood. Um, it's native. It's a native dogwood to Asia, um, which is kind of cool. A lot of a lot of plants in Asia um, are similar to plants found in North Carolina because at one point North Carolina or sorry North America and Asia were joined. Um, but then habitats change, plate tectonics. But some of the closest relatives of plants and animals in North Carolina are actually in, in China, like the rhododendron and um, giant salamanders, like the hellbender's closest relatives are the Japanese giant salamander and the Chinese giant salamander. But I'm going astray on my video, foraging for food, Gertie. So Kusa dogwood, is another plant um, that I sell its berries. And I know it's, it's not a true berry. I forget what it's called exactly. But this is urban foraging. A lot of people plant these um, because it has a beautiful flower, a really funky berry, wildlife likes it. This again, um, tastes kind of like mango pumpkin is what people say. Um, they're not exactly hard to harvest, but they harvest over several weeks. Um, so I harvested about 15, 16 pounds of these. I sold them to my same friend that has a cider business. So what I would suggest, if you wanna make money foraging, first see what you have in your area. I have stuff on my property. I have mushrooms on my property um, that I could forage. Um, acorns, believe it or not, there's a place in Asheville, which is kind of close to me, that will buy your acorns for a certain price per pound, but you have to have 50 pounds of them. They make flour and oil from them. So what I would do first, if you want to make money foraging, start looking in your local area and start thinking about businesses that might want your forage products. Um, and local people as well will probably buy some of your goods. So, so I make a little bit of extra money, especially in September, October, because that's when a lot of native plants are fruiting and even non-native plants. So hopefully this has been a helpful video to get you started with foraging. Um, I forage for myself for fun. I love learning about plants, um, mushrooms. I'm still learning a lot about mushrooms, um, but it is just fun to forage. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you forage and make a little bit of money, tell me what you're foraging. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I actually just picked these for this video. And I'm just gonna toss these in my woods and maybe they'll grow, maybe they won't. Um, I'm planning like, oh, another way I make money off pawpaws is I sell the seeds for about $10 for like 12 to 15 seeds, which is a great deal. Um, so again, I hope this has been a helpful video for you. I would love to hear about your foraging adventures. Get in the woods, make a little money. What can be better than that? Until next time.